the Ruger PC9 Charger. Let's check it out. Midnight Edition. Ruger introduced their first PC9 carbine about 25 years ago, and it just had a dismal welcoming. I mean, it just wasn't that popular. And at the time, a lot of people were not really interested in 9mm pistol caliber carbines. But when they reintroduced their PC9, uh, it was very popular with the shooting market. And one of the big reasons is because it's so traditional. I mean, it looks like just a standard rifle. It doesn't look very tactical. Uh, then they introduced their Charger model. And here we have the Ruger PC9 Charger. Uh, this is in the pistol form. Uh, it does have a brace on it that we've added, and it's just a very compact package. One of the beautiful things is that you can take it, pull your bolt back a little bit, and it makes it even smaller. I mean, these things are just incredibly compact and small. And so these have been very popular. In fact, I've had a hard time finding one. And I appreciate Rodney or NC Hill for letting me borrow his, and that's why we're doing this video at night. Ever since the PC9 Charger was introduced, I really wanted to get my hands on one. I am a big fan of the PC9 Carbine, but there's a big difference between the Charger and the PC9 Carbine. Uh, the PC9 Carbine has the very traditional look of just a standard rifle, and you know it kind of does away with that more tactical look. Uh, when we go to the Charger, I mean, this definitely has more of a tactical kind of modular look to it. But I think it is really cool. I mean, there's a lot of things that Ruger did to this that left it from being such a traditional firearm like the PC-9 carbine. Now on here we have one of the Holosan red dots, and this is the 407C, and then we have an SB tactical brace. But this is not included uh, with the Charger. Let's go ahead and make sure the gun's unloaded. We're going to drop our magazine, check the chamber, and it's empty. Uh, it does come with a 17-round SR9 magazine, uh, and it does come with a, a magazine insert, magazine well insert. Uh, but you also get a Glock mag well insert as well. Now, if you want to see that review, I'll have it annotated right here above where we change this out and just a full review. Even though we're going to do a full review of the charger, uh, some of the details like breaking it down, disassembly, how to change out the mag well, uh, that's going to be on a different video. Then we can take our 33 round Glock mags and now we have really a capable firearm. But you can also take your 10 round Glock mags and they'll fit right up in here with no problem. And they do make state compliant PC9 chargers. But guys, one of the cool things about this firearm is not only is it compact, if you take your bolt, Take this, handguard, pull your barrel right off. And I mean, that makes it even smaller. Then to reinsert it, just take it, pop it right in, and it goes straight in. Now here's a better look of the takedown feature lever. Uh, you just take it, bring it like this, and then twist, and it comes right off. Then when you want to put it back on, just bring it in, line up the lugs, and click it into place. Now guys, even though this is a small package, you know, it's pretty long. Now once you take and you bring your brace in, and then you pull out your magazine, of course, that 33 round magazine is really nice. And then you take, pull back on your bolt a little bit, pull this off. I mean, guys, I'm telling you, this is such a small little package. Then we'll take and drop it in. We have a little Maxpedition bag here. And guys, we still have a ton of room in this bag. And it's real easy to reassemble. The barrel length is six and a half inches. Now, one of the reasons why this actually shoots really smooth, though, as well, is we have a tungsten 
bolt right here and it's a it, what they call the dead bolt it's a very heavy bolt system and honestly it does help with the felt recoil it makes it a very smooth shooting firearm the barrel as well is cold hammer forged chrome molly as well and then we have a half by 28 thread pitch on the end so you can put suppressors compensators whatever you want to on here now the handguard is m-lock compatible both three six and nine o'clock uh, it is aluminum and then we have a hand stop here that is from Ruger. This also comes on the pistol. We have Picatinny rail all along the top. There are no sights that come on this. And honestly, uh, you're going to have a very short sight radius if you tried to put those on there because there's no place for the sights up here. It does come with an AR compatible pistol grip. Uh, this is one made by Ruger, but you can put any of your AR style pistol grips on here. Then we have a QD slot right here. Now this is the SBM1913 uh, and it just pops out. I mean it's a really small, very nice brace. It has a small little Picatinny rail section. So any kind of brace that will fit onto your M1913 Picatinny rail, uh, this makes a great option. Then you can also adjust it on the slots. Then to close the brace, just lift up, closes to the side. Makes it really nice to be able to fold this to one side. Now also you'll notice this hole in the other side of the bolt and you can switch your um, charging handle to the other side. Now it takes some cues down here around the trigger group from your 1022 and you'll notice this little lever. This is your bolt stop. So if you pull this back and engage the bolt stop, it holds it into place. And then when you want to release, just bring back. But it does hold open on the last round. Also you have one of the cross bolt safeties which is typical for your 1022. Now your mag release is right here above your mag well. Uh, you just push and it makes it really intuitive to be able to pull your mags out. Um, and one thing about it, when you first get this and you start shooting it, you're going to need to get used to that because it's in a little bit of a different place. Also, we do have a flared mag well, which makes it easy for your mags to go right in. And guys, your mag release is reversible. Uh, you just take this screw out. You don't have to break the pistol down and you can just move this to the other side. This is a glass reinforced nylon all the way through, and then you have your aluminum up here at the top, and again, out through the handguard. Let's take a look at the trigger action. Little, not a lot of take up. And a decent break. Uh, there's a, just a little bit of pulling in it, but it's not bad at all. We're going to check reset. Right there. Audible and tactile. Let's check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. Four pounds, four ounces. Four pounds, 6.2 ounces. I want to thank Fioki USA for sponsoring the ammo. Good clean burning stuff. Also, especially with these fun sticks, we love to have our Lula loaders. These things really fast. And as fast as you want to shoot this thing, you need it. We took the PC9 Charger down to the range, and we had already had one day of range time already, and it's just very reliable. I mean, we, we didn't have any malfunctions with this firearm. Uh, with the Glock mags, or whether you use that, or the Ruger SR9, and also they take the American mags. And so it just gives you a lot of options. Uh, one thing I like about the uh, Glock mags is they have the 33 round fun sticks. And so that to me is just really a great option, and it makes it very, very viable for a self-defense pistol but it's very smooth shooting and one of the things about blowback a lot of times is it does have a little bit of kickback actually more than your 556 or 223 because of that heavy bolt coming back it's still very manageable it's still only nine millimeter but it can be a little uncomfortable but here with the pc9 charger and the carbine it's just a very soft shooting firearm and you're able to really just stay on target and so it's one of the things I love. Now the Holosan 407C, I mean, it, it shows up like the day. I mean, the light is very bright, so it's really easy to get on target, especially considering we don't have any sights on this firearm. Uh, with the SB Tactical M13, I mean, it just is a great little handling firearm. Now this is a brace, it's not a stock, and it's made to put your hand through it to be able to shoot it with one hand. And you can put it up to your cheek and you can shoot it that way or you know you can shoot it from the hip if you want uh, and then of course the ATF says it's fine to shoulder this on occasion 
And so the, the brace to me really transforms this firearm. Without the brace, it would be nothing more than a range toy. But with the brace, it really makes this a viable self-defense option for your home or for your for a truck gun or in your vehicle. And when it comes to accuracy, uh, we were about 15 yards out and we were just shooting uh, with the red dot and uh, really the dot covered up the orange circle. I mean, it just covered it up. But even then, uh, before we had sighted it in, just it was just one little cluster. This gun is definitely accurate. Now, as far as disassembly goes, it's not very difficult, but I do have a separate video on how to disassemble, actually the PC9 carbine, but it's pretty much the same thing here, and it's just pretty straightforward. If you want to see that, I'll just have a link right here. You can check it out. Uh, the bolt, this heavy tungsten bolt, is something else. It's really large, uh, and it's really easy to change out these mag wells, and you can go to those videos, and again, we'll have it annotated where you can just go straight to it. So when it comes to pistol caliber carbines, guys, there's a sea of choices out there. Uh, but I think that the Ruger PC9 Charger, very soft shooting, uh, it does take your Glock mags, uh, it's very adaptable to a lot of different things, and it breaks down into a super small package, and that's probably one of the biggest things. And it has Ruger quality, so I think this is a great option. Now, as far as the retail price, these run $7.99 on the Ruger website. Uh, usually, you know, you can go to different local gun shops and the market price will be less. And again, I want to thank Rodney from the NC Hill YouTube channel for bringing down the PC9 Charger. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Okay, so we're going to give Rubber Dummy his own little top hat today. Titleist Golf Ball. Number four. <laughs> four. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Even for this really short size, which I didn't mention what the barreling was. I need to do that. All right. Muy bueno. Yeah. I need another light to try to get rid of the shadow. Nah. We're, 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 the freaks come out at night. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And you do get a, a whatever that is. What is that? A finger. A finger sticking down. A nub. <laughs> a nub. It has Picatinny rail. It has a little penny, penny Picatinny penny, 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 penny ticker. It has a little penny tick. <laughs> Truly, when you're pulling your magazines out, as I bump the stupid tripod. Is that good enough, Rodney? I just wanted to be correct. Thank you. Side folder brace. You have this 33 round mag. Matt. <laughs> Got a lot of bloopers in this one. A little bit of take up, not a lot. Good gosh, let's put that thing off safety. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> this is a terrible trigger when the safety's on. <laughs> <It sucks. laughs>